Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the natural logarithmic function. What does that mean? Well, again, we start out with the exponential function, y equals e to the x power. And so if we replace the x and the y and write as x equals e to the y, and then we want to take that function and write it like y equals something, it turns out that x equals e to the y is exactly the same as y equals log to the base e of x. Remember that e is again that natural number and it's approximately equal to, e is approximately equal to 2.71828 and, and so forth and it's a non-repeating decimal just like the number pi. And so if we then write y equals log to the base e of x, that's exactly the same as writing y equals ln of x. That means the natural log. L stands for log and n stands for natural. They do have the letters reversed, but y equals the natural log of x, and that's what that means. So the function looks exactly the same as any logarithmic function to any base, except the smaller the number, the higher the function goes as a function of x, and the greater the number, I mean the the larger the base, for example, base 10 or base 20 or base 20, the more slowly the function rises as x becomes large. Now, if we make a table of values for x, and then we have the corresponding y, y being the natural log of x, when x is equal to 1, y is equal to 0. And that's the case for all logarithmic functions, because you can see that when x equals 1, y is equal to 0, because e to the 0 power is always equal to 1, or any base to the 0 power is always equal to 1. If x is equal to e, y is equal to 1, again, e to the first power is equal to e, so that comes out right here. If x is equal to e squared, then y is equal to 2. If x is equal to e cubed, then y is equal to 3. If x is equal to e to the fourth, then y is equal to 4. In any case, for any function or any logarithmic function, if x is equal to the base raised to some number, y will be equal to that exponent. So again, if x is equal to the base raised to the exponent, y will be equal to the exponent. So now let's go to the rules of exponentials, or I should say rules of logarithms, not exponentials, but logarithms. The natural log of 1 is always equal to 0 because e to the 0 power is equal to 1. The natural log of e is equal to 1 because e to the 1 power is equal to e. The natural log of e to the x is equal to x because e to the x is equal to e to the x. And finally, e to the natural log of x is also equal to x because, and now that's a little bit more tricky, because notice over here, when we say the natural log of x is the same as the log base e of x, which is the same as e to the y. So we can say that the nat that e to the natural log, e to the natural log of x is the same as saying e to the y. And if we come back over here, e to the y is equal to x. And therefore we can say that the e to the natural log of x therefore must equal x because that's what we found over here. And so these then become the four rules of natural logarithms, which in essence is equal to the four rules of any, log any logarithmic function, even the common logarithmic function base, e base 10. But again, you can see here that if you memorize these, they'll come in really handy later on when we start using it. Especially these right here, e to the natural log of x equals x, and the natural log of e to the x equals x come in really handy because quite often we use that, that rule to simplify equations or to work out so, uh, very common problems using natural logarithms. Anyway, hopefully this will give you a good perspective of what a natural logarithm is. It's very similar to a common logarithm or a logarithm to any base, with the one exception that in this case the base is that natural, natural number e, which can be approximated by that particular value. And that's how we do that.